everybody and welcome to another youtube episode of my daniel fast this is my first daniel fast as a new person in faith with christ um i've been on youtube right looking at different women in their journey and their faith and the daniel fast has come up a lot on youtube and it really truly honestly interest interested me in doing it um, so what better way than to do it than the start of the year in the month of January. So I started it January 4th, um, this past Monday. So far, I definitely feel a difference and I definitely feel a change in my body, um, spiritually and mentally. I definitely feel a shift happening um, with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And uh, this is this was truly only the purpose of doing this was to just connect more with jesus and god and to see what revelations and what truth um comes to me and, and is shown to me um so yeah but now it's actually um coming into a whole like healthy lifestyle thing that i'm actually um intrigued by and it's um keeping me on my toes because right with things that you would have usually made with meat right because i am a meat eater um as of right now um but literally right now i'm not <laughs> right now um the daniel fast for me consists of no meat no fish no alcohol no caffeine no artificial sweeteners um so i will say this i do use honey um during the start of this daniel fast i did start my monthly friend <laughs> yeah um i started my monthly friend and if you know women out there know you need a certain amount of iron and sugar levels you know to keep you going at least i do so i made the wise decision to incorporate um organic honey um when i can in my drinks and mainly my smoothies right because i can't have um artificial fruit juices i can't have anything i can't have any soda um no caffeine nothing of the artificial world uh which is a lot of what we consume on a daily basis so yeah um but for the drinks wise i've obviously been drinking water i have um, herbal tea um my favorite tazzle passion i show you guys in the clips coming um and then smoothie smoothie has been my life force um these past four days <laughs> um i actually made a green juice here let me like swirl it up for you guys it's actually super good and you will also see it in the upcoming clips as well so basically this video is just showing you what i've been creating uh mainly for like breakfast and dinner wise um i haven't made a salad yet which is crazy because i love salads y'all so i'm definitely gonna make a salad today um for sure um and then i have um a lot of other tools in my fridge and my cabinet um to keep me going for the rest of this daniel fast which is 21 days and i'm four days in so i'm trucking y'all and i'm and i'm i'm feeling really good about it um also you cannot have dairy or eggs which is kind of like good because i am lactose intolerant anyway so i go for almond milk i go for oat milk i go for a lactose free milk you know what i mean so that isn't really a problem for me and eggs i don't really eat eggs a lot like that so um yeah uh it may seem like a lot you guys but it actually isn't you're actually just getting food from the earth that is actually extremely good for you and it's gonna make you feel better in the long run um once you um make these simple quick meals that that you can make right whatever you can think of with with meat you can make it without meat and just incorporate more vegetables and more plant-based um protein uh food out there you know what i mean because there's so many um that come from the earth like legumes right like beans have a lot of protein um uh kale and, and spinach they have some protein a lot of fiber as well 
just do your research you guys if you guys are interested in doing this dining fast but i just um was excited to show you guys what i've been incorporating in my diet for the past um couple days yeah so i definitely feel better um i will say this if you are a caffeine drinker be prepared for like that first or second day to have some headaches to have some withdrawal um complications come up but know and pray to the lord almighty that you will get through it you can get through it i got through it it's my fourth day without coffee y'all <laughs> i miss it i really do you don't understand but there are ways to um to implicate um i don't know if that's the right word to implant there are ways to have to gain energy without caffeine okay so when you're going through those withdrawals um of caffeine for those first couple days i will recommend just drink a lot of water if your headache is really bad and it's causing you to feel sick like it did me i had to take a tylenol i had to take an extra strength tylenol because it was getting extremely bad and i didn't have enough sugars that first day because obviously i can't have any artificial sweeteners um from any like chocolate you know any juices so i basically just had fruit that day okay so that uh my body was like in shock with that you know what i mean so just pay attention to your body god is not gonna shame you if you add something that may not be a part of that fast it's okay god wants you to be healthy god wants you to be happy okay so that's all that matters your your health is all that matters um you can still do the fast um whether you have to add something that's not necessarily a part of the fast um if you're doing everything else you're fine you are fine okay so without further ado i don't want to have this introduction be too long uh let's get into what i've been creating for this daniel fast and oh and i definitely encourage you guys to read on um daniel um the book of daniel chapter 10 verses 2 to 3 i believe without further ado let's get into this video thank you guys for watching it definitely looks messy around the stove area but i am cooking my day two daniel fast meal okay this is some potatoes and some cabbage and iceberg lettuce mixed in the potatoes are already boiled and soft so i just want the potatoes to be more toastier and then i'm cooking my brown rice all right and then final topper is going to be put into this pot right here is going to be the um, green garbanzo corn and coriander i love i love this i love um indian food and curry food in general so this is just going to be my meal for the second day of my daniel fast so this is one of the products that i got for my daniel fast i'm just going to show you guys what i've been doing what i've been what I'll be using. So I got a mixed nuts here and I am plan to use this for um, oatmeal. And I have dried oats, I'll show you guys that. And then, so this may be controversial, but I really don't care. Um, I'm using organic honey for this Daniel Fast. You know, I'm mixing it. Excuse the cuts on my hands, I have a new kitten and um, he likes to scratch. <laughs> but i'm trying to teach him to not do that so it's a work in progress if you had if you ever had a kitten or you have a kitten i think you might understand why there are scratches on my hand <laughs> so yeah i'm just giving this a good mix and i'm just gonna leave this in the pot for a little bit on low heat y'all and let it get piping hot as it said mm. Mm. all right so i do want to show you guys the rest of the products that i got for my daniel fast so i did get some protein this is all um, from sprouts as well it has a really strong like vanilla flavor but it's not like it's not nasty um and it is plant-based um and I, you don't need to use the whole um spoonful so i just used like half of it today with my smoothie 
And then these are the oats I was talking about. Um, if I can show you. Okay. These are the Click Click Instant Oats Whole Grain. Okay, that's the important thing. That they're whole grain and or organic as well. So I'm excited to make my oats. Um, I also wanted to try to make overnight oats. Beans that I'll probably make tomorrow. These beans. Oh, and then I have whole grain pasta and I have tomato um, pasta sauce in the fridge that I'm definitely going to make um, maybe at the end of this week or beginning of next week. We'll see how much food I have left. Um, okay. And then, so like I told you guys, I just started my monthly friend and, uh, you need some iron. Okay. So I got these, or, um, organic coconut cookies, dark cacao. Um, and they're highly organic, very actually pretty tasty. Um, these are the ingredients y'all and the sweetener. So there's only five grams of sugar and the sweetener is organic agave syrup okay and agave is from a plant if you want to get technical so yeah these are actually really good i picked these up in rite aid so very very good y'all if you're looking for an alternative chocolate sweet okay and then i have these fire breathing oh with probiotics i didn't know they had probiotics um but these are um vegan um spicy puff chips and these are the ingredients here and then I have to get me some sea salt air pop popcorn here with sea salt and oil. These are actually really, really good. I also got these from Rite Aid, y'all. Um, 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 what else can I show you guys? Oh, and I got like kind of like to give me um, my caffeine fix, but without the caffeine. Um, this is a herbal tea, Tazo Passion, and it definitely has no caffeine in it. I honestly thought it did um when i got this from starbucks but it does not so i will sweeten this guy with a little bit of honey and i put some ice cubes in it and have like a cold cool passion um semi-sweet um tea and it's very 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 good and i also have some teas here um that do not have caffeine this one is actually really good i don't even actually need um honey for this one uh, sweet clementine stress support caffeine free it's very tasty so I have another caffeine free one uh, I think that's actually it um, oh no I'm lying I have some herbal teas here left that I haven't um, drank and my coffee is all the way in the back there taunting me black pearl rice organic lundberg i have not tried this yet obviously um but i am very curious to see how this tastes i've had black rice before um so i'm excited okay and i also have avocado i have this plantain here that i'm waiting to get um a little softer and my garlic Let me look at the fridge just ignore the stuff that i'm not supposed to be having because obviously obviously i'm not having it so don't worry um that's one thing about me that i actually um admire about myself i have good perseverance even if there's temptation in front of me um i have good uh whatever that word is anyway this is the black beans that i'm going to be making at some point as well um that i've used before and this is the tomato sauce that i was talking about that i'm gonna make with the whole grain pasta that I showed you guys. Bertoli is a good brand actually. And then I was looking at my dressings that I that I have and a lot of these dressings I can still use. They're dairy free and they don't contain egg. This soy ginger dressing is bomb.com y'all. And also I have um, classic oil and vine vinegar from Newman's Own and this is also dairy free and egg free. And then I have the classic balsamic vinaigrette. So good. I love balsamic. Um, and then I bought some carrots, some celery, some spinach wraps. Um, and then, oh yeah, this is the cabbage. Ooh, this is the cabbage and the iceberg lettuce that I'm using for the coriander and chickpeas. And this, um, these are the potatoes I just found. And then in here, I um, roasted, um, I grilled, excuse me, some veggies. 
um, on the pan yesterday and I saved them and put them in here and then this is my avocado that I'll be using for today's dinner um, ignore the Canada dry I'm not drinking that I'm gonna throw that away actually because it's probably flat anyway and I brought these LaCroix um, sparkling water Raz cranberry naturally essence um, I haven't tried this flavor so I'm excited to try it's gonna be like my soda soda fix my well the only soda I really truly enjoy is ginger ale so yeah this will be like my ginger ale ignore the wine i'm not having the wine and yes i am of age to drink alcohol and then i brought this um keto milk plant-based i don't know why i did that, did that to myself i should have just gotten the almond milk um because the taste isn't the greatest it's like it's something to be put like with a smoothie or something yeah so that's what i used this morning i put this in my smoothie um yeah it's not horrible but you have to get used to the taste um, and then I bought um, no sugar added apple applesauce. Um, remember again, y'all, I am on my monthly period, so I need a certain um, amount of sugar and iron and the other nutrients that you need while, yeah, on your monthly friend. And then uh, eggs. Don't ignore. I'm not using that. I don't. I hardly, rarely eat eggs anyway. Um, and then I love my spring mix um, salads. I love salads in general. So this is what I eat pretty much like every other day <laughs> um, with tomatoes. Um, and then I bought some bell peppers. I bought some onions and gotta have tomatoes. I love me some tomatoes. Um, there's like a squash in here and then there's two cucumbers in here uh, what else is down there oh and some broccoli is down there as well okay and then for the fruit I have green apples I have lemons and limes and some clementines okay and then for the freezer y'all I bought some frozen fruit this is a um, mango berry mix here and then I got some dragon fruit smoothie packs um and that's kind of pretty much it y'all all right so this is the final outcome of the meal the second day daniel fast meal um it looks so yummy i can't wait to dig in um one thing i've been wanting to do like every day at least for one of my meals is to pray um before i eat and i i tend to forget so i'm definitely gonna pray before this meal um even though i did like taste a little bit while i was cooking oops um but i think that's okay and then i have my raz cranberry so excited to try this guy out all right let's dig in also forgot to mention I'm gonna be adding these chia seeds running fairly low on them but I'm gonna use them to the last a drop um, chia seeds are also like it says it's good in antioxidants dietary fiber and protein and it helps with um, energy as well so this is how it looks in the smoothie cup here it's looking pretty pretty good already if you ask me so I'm gonna add the chia seeds now and really, you could just eye it. It doesn't really. That should be good. That was probably. No, that's perfect, actually. All right, now let's smoothie it up. Okay, I like my, I like my smoothies truly, very blended. And that is really good consistency there, you guys. Ooh, let me put that over here. Let's see. Mmm. <sighs> Smells pretty darn good. All right, now that's, I'm going to put it in my, like, blender cup here. It's fairly small. Okay, y'all. The infamous pour. Cheers, my friends. Oh my god, you guys. It definitely tastes way better without the keto, kaido milk. Um, 
that I put in yesterday it yeah and then I didn't put as much protein powder like I said oh my gosh it tastes amazing oh so good y'all so good and I actually have some left that I can have for later fun love when that happens Another thing that I forgot to mention, y'all, was seasonings and types of oils, right? So obviously you can use pretty much any type of seasonings as long as it doesn't have dairy and egg, which I think most seasonings don't even have dairy or egg in them. So you're pretty good. I got my standard seasonings here, y'all. Gotta have your curry, gotta have your cayenne, your cumin, cinnamon, less cinnamon, turmeric. Turmeric has been showing me some love during these past two days um himalayan pink salt you don't have to have himalayan pink salt but then i have the natural sea salt from morton back here then i have a lorry seasoned salt a little goes a long way for um this guy and then garlic and herbs gotta have that and then black pepper and a few more in the back there actually um oh and then i was told to have some taco seasoning um handy just in case um i love taco seasoning anyway so gotta have it and then for my hispanic folk y'all know about the adobo gotta have the adobo present and i even have the adobo without pepper oh sorry without pepper as well now for your oils for this daniel fast you're gonna want to use um uh, the right oil so I think I believe vegetable oil is not what you can use during this fast so extra virgin olive oil is one you can use you can use grapeseed oil you can use avocado oil and I believe there's like two more oils you can use something like that um you can use vinegar obviously of course um yeah 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 not using that Aunt Jemima syrup at all during this time obviously yeah, that was just some of the stuff um, that uh, I'm using for this Daniel Fast. This is my third day, y'all. Y'all have been with me for the third day of the morning of my delicious smoothie. I'm very proud of how it came out. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, now we have our oatmeal. Um, I crushed the mixed nuts that I had. I sliced up some green apples and I made my oatmeal. It's a little more on the watery side, but that's okay. I tasted it a little and it's it's pretty good to me anyway. And I think once I add the nuts, it's gonna be pretty good. Um, and I also added some honey as well, um, just for some little bit of sweetening. So let's, let's try it, shall we? Mm, you guys, this is looking super good. And I'm going to add a little bit of cinnamon because I love cinnamon. Um, just for some, a little bit of more flavor, y'all. And oh my gosh, this looks amazing. Mm -hmm. I cannot wait to try it. Let's actually, let's take a bite. Let's have some apple in there too. Mmm. Mm. I give it a thumbs up. It's super light, but very tasty. And that upper apple tart like taste to it, the cinnamon and the honey is super good. Very tasty, y'all. And very easy. All right, y'all. So today, um, this afternoon, I woke up kind of late here, but um, I'm going to be making what's called a green monster juice. All I'm missing is um, kale, um, and I think that's all. But yeah, I have half a lemon, a Granny Smith green apple, cucumbers, spinach, um, and then I would just, uh, oh, and then celery. And then I just needed to add um, some kale, but we don't have kale, and that's okay, though. Um, I'm not making as much at, as it recommends. It recommends to add even more than what you see here. But it's just me. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and blend this, y'all, and let's see how it is afterwards. And I'll also be adding um, a little bit of protein powder as well. Mmm, y'all, it's pretty good. I added some ice cubes into it. Um, I'm not mad at it, y'all. Not mad at it at all. Mm. The green apple and the tartness of the lemon really make a difference. Because if you didn't add any fruit or any like citrus, it would definitely taste um, much different than what it does now. And I think the added um, vanilla plant-based protein powder added that extra good taste to it as well. And I did add a little bit of honey as well. So all in all, y'all, I get this like... I give this a 10 out of 10. Yes. And I put my little metal straw in here, so once it starts separating like that, you can just mix it and make it all good again. So I highly recommend this Monster Green Juice. And let's see um, how it is with keeping my energy going. Hey, everybody. Thank you for making it this far. And thank you for coming along. In the beginning days, stages of my Daniel fast, I am on my fifth day now that I'm recording this outro. Um, so the clips that you've seen were just um, clips throughout the four days of my Daniel fast. And I think that it's going pretty good so far, actually. I thought it'd be a little harder than what I am going through right now but it's actually okay once you get through the um, caffeine withdrawal symptoms especially if you're like a heavier caffeine drinker and I'm not even a heavy caffeine drinker I'll have maybe like a cup of coffee a day but and sometimes not even every day so yeah just be wary of that and make sure I can't stress can't stress this enough make sure you are paying attention to your body right and how it feels right if you're feeling sick if you're not feeling great right there may be something that you need during this fast and it's okay god will not be upset with you if you add something onto your fast that's not necessarily supposed to be on your fast like for example with me i am adding on Oh my god my hand is getting tired i am adding on honey um because i know that i need that um a little bit more sweetness um into certain um certain meals that i have or drinks like per se a smoothie right because during this fast i'm not having any juices or sodas so what i'm having is either herbal tea um sparkling water or smoothies and water so just keep that in mind y'all okay this daniel fast is supposed to be a time where you really get in touch with god more more deeply than ever before and um during this time you'll definitely have some deeper insights in your life um some deeper revelations that um, need your attention um and truths coming into light this is definitely a time for that when you do this fast for 21 days y'all it can be done you can do it if you're thinking about it um i highly recommend it i mean i'm only five days in but i love it already to be honest um will i be vegan after this probably not but i will be changing up my habits for sure um caffeine probably won't be giving that up um but i think with the amount of meat intakes and the amount of processed food that i have i'm definitely going to be um fixing that and changing that up more because you really don't need um all the meat that that you have and all the processed foods that you have on the daily that they sell to you in the markets crazy they have all these chemicals and crazy stuff but anyway um leave a comment below let me know how you guys like this video and let me know what you guys want to see more of also please don't forget to like subscribe and hit that bell button for more videos thank you so much be blessed and much peace onto all of you thank you